Hello, this is Dr. Gatros for COP3353 and because of an overwhelming request for a video on make files, um, I, I thought I would go ahead and produce one. I thought the uh, lecture in class was very comprehensive, but uh, if this will help you to play it over and over again, we'll do it. Uh, we're going to use our simple example that we used in class on the box class. I've got an extra file, a couple files in here. We'll call it hello. We'll use those a little bit later. But uh, to recall how to compile these manually, we're going to start with the lower class. Main box is the main routine. Box is the class, and the .h file is done first. We do G++, that's a C++ compiler, dash C, compile only, box.h, okay, that looks okay. Then we do its corresponding implementation file. Oops, spell it right. And that looks okay. And then finally we do the main routine, mainbox.cpp. We're going to compile it only. And now we're going to put it all together. Dash O is output. We're going to call the executable mainbox. That's what the dash O does. And we include the intermediate object files with it and boom we're done okay now remember that order and remember the relationships of the files to each other main box includes box.h and uh, bo box.o uh, needs both box.h and box.cpp all right well let's start create a make file take your favorite editor whether it be uh, pico vi emacs or mm, doesn't matter any of the text editors work fine pico we say uh, make file. Make file can either be uh, upper case M or lower case M. And we're just going to start off with a plain make file. We start off with the executable main box colon is dependent upon what? Well it's dependent upon main box dot O and box dot O. <coughs> Excuse me. You saw that we did that compilation in the previous step. Tab. Okay, very important. If uh, either of those are out of uh, uh, need to be redone uh, what we do is we do G plus plus dash O main box okay produce main box and main box main box dot O and box dot O now the make file utility is going to expect to see two dependency lines out there one for main box dot O and one for box dot O so it's going to go over to the left and look at that so we're going to give them to them okay main box dot O is dependent upon mainbox.cpp. If that file is changed, then what it's going to do is it's going to execute this line of code. Dash C, mainbox.cpp. Okay, hit return. If box.o is been changed, in other words, if either of these two files have been changed, which is box.h or box.cpp, then it will actually execute these two lines of code. We'll do box.h first, and then we'll do box.cpp. Okay, we'll do a control O, control X, clear. Now to make this all work, I'm going to get rid of the O files and get rid of the other intermediate files. We're going to clean it up. So now all I do is type make, and I'll see if I did it correctly. Boom, boom, boom. Right there it is, and it all works. Great. Oh, wonderful. Well, let's go in and add a macro. Okay. Pico. Make file. And what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to say cc is equal to g. Okay. And down here, every place that I see g, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dollar sign cc surrounded by parentheses. Dollar signs surrounded by parentheses. Dollar sign and CC surrounded by parentheses and dollar sign, oops, dollar sign, CC surrounded by parentheses. So what that does is a macro is it's going to take that CC, it's going to look up at the top, it's going to find that that's equivalent to G plus plus, and every place that the make file utility sees the dollar sign it's going to look for the parentheses and it's going to take that thing inside the parentheses and it's going to replace that whole thing 
with what was inside the parentheses. Okay, in this case, dollar sign, I'll move this up right here, right here, this location, this dollar sign, left parentheses, CC, right parentheses, will be replaced by that G++ up there. Now where this comes in handy, let's say if I have an alternate compiler I want to use, well I can actually go up here and just change it right there rather than going to every line of code and doing it. Let's save this. Okay. Let's make sure it works. I'm going to go and remove all the .o files and I'm going to remove all the h.gch files. Okay. And okay, and I'm just going to run the make utility again and boom boom and you'll see that it replaced all the uh, CC's with the .gcc file. Very good. Alright, well one other thing we're going to do to kind of illustrate basic make file. This is not the entire assignment. It's not as complex as the assignment but it should give you an idea. Alright, well what if uh, for instance we had uh, another file that was dependent upon it and we have in here uh, hello.h. Well I'm going to go into uh, box dot h okay and up here I'm going to include okay hello dot h okay control o, control x now what I've got to do is I've got to go inside my make file okay now recall that um, the process for compiling now is hello dot h Hello.cpp. Okay. Oops, gotta spell it right. Okay, let's go ahead and compile box.h. Looks good. And box.cpp. That looks good. And finally, let's see, mainbox.cpp. And then we put them all together. Main box, main box .c, .o, box .o, and hello .o. Okay, very good. So now those are our steps we got to do in that reverse order, and it's very important that you remember that in the make file utility, um, it's a top-down kind of thing. So you reverse this order. So hello would actually be uh, the last thing that we uh, that we do inside that. Well, let's go back in there. Okay, let's pico make file. Now, here we've got to add a few things. Okay, uh, main box is now dependent upon hello.o. Okay, and okay, we've got to put it right there. We'll go back and look at our things that we just did. Okay, I could, if I wanted to, I could put right here on. Uh, box.o I could also put right there a dependency p dependency on hello but it's not necessary I could it's not necessary hello has already been dependent upon the main routine up here if hello was only used in box and wasn't used in in the main routine I, I, I could put it down here but since it's already up here I'm okay just to leave everything as it is I go down here and I add another dependency line hello.o is dependent upon hello.h and hello.cpp, those two files. If they're not present, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compile them just like I did box hello.h and then dollar sign cc, that's my dash c, okay, hello.cpp. Okay, always make sure there is a return after that, and there is. Okay, so we're okay. You notice I just use the right arrow, it brings it down to the bottom that, that always likes to see that. See, so you make sure there's a return right there. Don't know why, but to just make sure. That looks okay. Okay, control, control X, okay, clear. Let me go ahead and remove all the .o files and remove the h.gch files. Be very careful about that. And just run my make file utility, say make. Boom, 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 boom. There it is, it all works fine. All right, very good. Go over the make file one more time. More make file. Okay, look at that. Actually, let's just bring it up in an editor. Okay, there's my macro up there. 
uh, I ask you to do a couple macros and every time you do a macro you say the character and then what it's associated with. The main routine will be dependent upon uh, the main box.o, box.o, and hello.o. These three things right there you're going to want to see them on the left hand side and then to the right of them you're going to see the files that they're dependent upon. Mainbox.o is dependent upon the source code for mainbox. There is the compile only statement for it. The box class is dependent upon two files, box.h and box.cpp. There are the two compile statements for it. Hello.o is dependent upon two files, hello.h and hello.cpp. And there are the compile statements for it. Okay, very good. And that's all you really have to do for a make file. You can just um, everything is just nothing more than just an expansion of uh, what I've just done right here. Make sure there's a tab character in front of the shell lines and you should be okay. All right, Very good. Well, uh, hope this helps and uh, we'll see you in the final.